Hi, Ron from RabbitNipples.com. Wanted to give you a short tutorial on our push paddle waters. Uh, this first one is our large water here. And this is our standard push paddle water. Now these waters they are uh, pretty popular right now. They uh, will come with um, two inlets. If I can show you here, it's half inch. And there's also one underneath here. There's a, it's pre plugged on both of them, but it is threaded um, and it's half inch also. So on these waters, if uh, you get one, you get it installed and it's leaking out of that bottom plug, uh, use this top plug, pull out that bottom plug and re-insert this top plug in, in there. So both of them come with uh, four holes for mounting. We do not supply the mounting equipment or U-bolts. The interior part here is brass. You can see there, there's a big, this nut right here, which basically holds this piece in. So that big bolt will push on, on this part here, holding it in, and then this O-ring will uh, keep it from leaking. So. The paddle actually pushes on this button and that releases the water. So again when you're installing always make sure to flush out your water lines. Last thing you want to do is take every one of these apart and have to clean out or flush the water out of it. So this one here weighs about 12 pounds maybe closer to 13 with shipping this one is about 10 pounds of shipping and about 9 pounds before. Um, both are made of cast iron, have an epoxy coating, and uh, have a stainless steel uh, paddle. So if you have one, the paddle should be feel loose and easy to move. I usually adjust them before we ship them out to make sure they're pretty free. This one's maybe could be loosened a little bit. Um, I'd say our our main issue, and I've only had just a few few customers have this, and they they thought it was this uh, the brass piece here was sticking, and what it was was actually. Um, it's sticking here right where this nut goes in um, it was getting um, just stopping the paddle from coming all the way out um, and causing it to keep running so uh, I had one customer had a few of them and kept telling me she was having issues I send her uh, replacement parts still have the issue and then I had a customer more local uh, call me and I just thought well I'm going to go see what it is because I can figure it out and uh, I loosen this um, and it solved the problem so um, again I'll try to do it before I ship them out uh, I mean I test every one of them before but uh, with shipping and the weight um, and I package them pretty good with foam if you know if this gets smashed here or something uh, it's going to cause um, some restriction um, maybe not letting that come up so again those are two uh, push paddle waters um, made of cast iron epoxy coating stainless steel paddle uh, does not come with the nuts and bolts for mounting or u-bolts whatever you're going to install it on will come like this bottom will come pre-plugged and the top will have um, a threaded cap on it 
but uh, really easy to use. Um, the, the lady I did visit that was having an issue, she had a miniature stallion that used it um, and then along with her quarter horse. So um, just a nice uh, water that really does not have much issue. You don't have to worry about a float sticking. Um, I mean, you got to worry about a paddle sticking, but once you get that, that fixed, you'll be good. So again, this is uh, rabbitnipples.com. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at ronald at rabbitnipples.com. Thank you.